The turtle, Mitch McConnell, finally does something he should have done the first week in November. And in doing so, of course, he displays the cowardice for which he's so famous, his crawling, creeping attitude, this sick bastard. Um, but today, yes, count it, today, Senator Mitch McConnell, the majority leader, Recognize Joe Biden Jr. as the president-elect and Senator Kamala Harris as vice president-elect. Oh, for joy, for joy, can we all have a moment of silence or a moment of gunfire, whatever you want, however you want to celebrate. But here is what he said, okay? This is from the transcript. Quote, six weeks ago, the Americans... Americans vote in this year's general, I'm not going to try, general election. The legal and constitutional processes have continued to play out since then. <laughs> Yesterday, electors met in all 50 states. So as of this morning, our country has officially a president-elect and a vice president-elect. Many millions of us had hoped the presidential election would yield a different result. But our system of government has processes to determine who will be sworn in on January the 20th. The Electoral College has spoken. So today, I want to congratulate President-elect Joe Biden. The President-elect is no stranger to the Senate. He's devoted himself to public service for many years. I also want to congratulate the Vice President-elect, our colleague from California, Senator Harris. Beyond our differences, all Americans can take pride that our nation has a female vice president-elect for the very first time. I look forward to finishing out the next 36 days strong with President Trump. Our nation needs to our nation needs us to add another bipartisan chapter to this record of achievement. Now, I, I, I probably should pause a moment while I throw up. But what a, what a sleazebag McConnell is. That's why the election here in uh, Georgia, the double election coming up January 5th, for which I went and voted yesterday. Did I already tell you that? Maybe I did. Early voting here in Georgia. But this is why it is so critically ungodly important that both Ossoff and Reverend Warnock are elected to take the place of two, these two scum-sucking senators who have done nothing for the state of Georgia except support this gangster son of a bitch who has been dwelling in the White House for four years. Kelly, what's your name? And David Perdue have got to be turned back to wherever the hell they came from kicked out of the Senate, kicked to the curb, told to go get a real job. Well, neither one of them need to work, of course, because uh, uh, Kelly is a, Kelly, what's her name, is a billionaire. And David Perdue has racked up tens of millions of dollars from his time as a senator by insider trading, by sneaking, cheating, and lying. They have to go. They have to go. So anyway, with, with them gone, then McConnell becomes just another putrid Christian fascist party member, period. And if you have an objection to my calling the dead Republican Party Christian fascist, remember, in European countries, there are, I think there are several countries that have the, the uh, Christian Democratic Party. This is a Christian fascist party. Period. That's all it is. The Republican Party may be able to reconstitute itself as a third party, but starting with the 126 slime balls in the U.S. House and a couple of filthy senators, the, the Republican Party has disappeared, boiled in its own vomit. And we now have 
the Christian Fascist Party and the Democratic Party. So McConnell said, okay, I'm going to add my imprimatur to this. I'm going to put my stamp of approval. I am going to, to stand in the well of the Senate with my turtly look and face and make the statement that Malloy just read. <laughs> and and I, I guess we're supposed to stand up so that we don't wet our pants from laughter uh, that he refers to Kamala Harris as the vice president-elect, uh, especially given the fact that, that this scum sucker from Kentucky is a racist, white, male, Christian fascist, southerner, if you can con consider Kentucky part of the South, I guess you can, huh? Yeah. But that statement that the turtle said, beyond our differences, all Americans can take pride that our nation has a female vice president-elect for the very first time. Really, McConnell? Really? You really believe that? No, I don't think you do. Anyway, by saying that, by, by appearing in the well of the Senate and, and completely... Uh, humiliating himself before the new president and vice president-elect, the turtle was displaying a decisive shift in his attitude. And it came a few hours after members of his leadership team in the Senate and even the chamber's chaplain, another Christian fascist. I don't know who, who the chaplain of the Senate is. I really don't give a shit. But if he is a chaplain in the Senate, he is aiding and abetting the Christian fascists. So, you know, you make your own decision about his sincerity to his beliefs. Anyway, all of these people began softening the ground, so to speak, so that the turtle could slide his, his reptilian body uh, across the Senate floor and into the well of the Senate and make his dumb shit statement, his tardy statement his month-late statement by congratulating Biden. Uh, now, true, uh, the turtle never repeated Trump's bullshit, but he had allowed the orange bastard's allegations of voting fraud and all these fantastic claims that he'd won the election by a wide margin the turtle allowed that bullshit to circulate unchecked over the past five weeks. And some of his allies in the Senate kept insisting to uh, the news media, off the record, that the turtle uh, would ultimately honor the election results, but he didn't want to stoke a urine conflict with the orange bastard that could hurt the Christian fascist party in these two Georgia Senate runoffs. Aha. Uh -huh. Ever the political calculator, the turtle decided to continue to allow the bullshit to spread, first smearing up the bottoms of everyone's feet and then rising to their ankles. And by the time um, McConnell made his statement today, we're knee deep in Trump bullshit in this country, knee deep in it. And some of us are going to keel over and drown in it. These uh, white male and female, I'll give you an example in a minute, Christian fascists who still, still are advocating death and destruction in this country. Anyway, the turtle's decision to um, walk away from Trump I wonder, I wonder what Trump did. He, when, when, when Trump heard that this morning, he probably said to whoever was in his immediate vicinity, all right, just stay where you are. I have to use the bathroom. <laughs> oh, Christ. But anyway, the turtle's decision to uh, break with the orange bastard um, further exposed the divisions in the Republican Party, what's left of the Republican Party. There is still a Republican Party, but it's soon going to die or it's going to become a third party. The Christian Fascist Party will be the secondary party. Anyway, um, a poll suggested a clear majority of Republicans still believe Trump's goddamn lies that the election was fraudulent. Um, and, and, and these people 
whether they're in Congress, the judiciary, or, or just out here in the real world, they're going to continue to believe Trump's bullshit. And they're going to continue to follow what the orange bastard has to say, no matter what sort of uh, uh, podium he'll, he'll use, whether it is his bullshit, I'm going to run for president in 2024 uh, platform or his uh, whatever media event that he goes into or media uh, entity that, that he and some of these Nazis in, in America uh, attempt to establish. Trump is going to continue to spew the garbage out for his brain-dead followers to eat by the spoonful. Unbelievable. Hi, Truth Seekers. Mike Malloy here. As you know, we've switched formats and are now broadcast exclusively on the Progressive Voices Network. So that means you get fewer program interruptions, no corporate commercials, and lots of profanity. But our format change also means some of our radio listeners no longer hear the program. It's been a while since I mentioned our podcasts, so you may have forgotten that there is a way to listen to this program anytime you need a good dose of screaming. Visit MikeMalloy.com and subscribe to our podcast. As a podcast subscriber, you can download the program to your mobile device and take me with you wherever you go. And if you have a friend who needs a dose of truth-seeking, you can give a gift subscription as well. That's MikeMalloy.com. And never miss a minute of the uncensored fun and frivolity.